When the National Player of the Year, Caitlin Clark, was run into by a fan storming the court, the dialogue was revisited. Fans rushing the field to play are due to say or do things that should not occur, but nonetheless transpire. Take one Texas Tech fan who shoved a UT player to the ground. And when Ole Miss upset LSU, one fan stormed the field talking smack to an opposing player who said F LSU and got pushed. They were held back from one another. And as these incidents keep occurring... ESPN's Jay Billis shared his thoughts. I love the passion. Fans do not belong on the court. Uh, Ever. Ever. We love it. We put it on TV at the end of every highlight. We promote it. All media companies do. When somebody gets hurt, we're going to get serious about it. But until then, like, they don't do it. When was the last time you saw a court storming in an NFL game or a field storming in an NFL game? The NBA, Major League Baseball. They don't do it. They protect the players, and we don't do it in college. Billis's co-hosts would disagree. That's like the one thing, though, that you can do in college, is have the students come down when a moment calls for it, when your team step, steps up, takes down a top team. Most of the time, the winning team is in the middle of the court, so all the fans are coming. All you have to do is have a plan to get the opponents off the floor safely. Billis would then say this. In the Southeastern Conference, the conference has deemed that a violation will cost you a fine of $100,000. South Carolina stormed the court, and the president emeritus ran out and promoted him running out on his own social media channel. They don't care. They'll pay it just for the visual and put the pictures up in the locker room for recruiting. We love it. We put it on TV. At the end of every highlight, we promote it. All media companies do. When somebody gets hurt, we're going to get serious about it. After his comments went viral, Billis, in a text to the Associated Press, wrote, I know it will keep happening and accept it, but it seems inevitable that something negative will happen and will act surprised when it was foreseeable. So we got to do something about the court storms, guys. I don't know why institutions aren't ready for it. Like, what did you think was going to happen if they won? Like, spread the word. Spread the word before somebody gets hurt. You know, a student from Nebraska should be able to storm the court, right? Like, we're cool. Like, just, like, get ready for it. That's what you're going to do. So, like, we're, we're struggling in our conference with that. We got, we have a, our freshmen, sophomore, and juniors have never lost a road game without a court storm. Think about that. So this isn't, think about that. Put that in your article. All right? Because someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get hurt. And it's gonna, it could be a student. could be one of Nebraska's guys. could be one of our guys. could be someone working the scores bench. could be anybody. But, like, I don't know why people don't get ahead of it. All right. It's happened a lot. And it's just I, I, I don't understand that. Purdue head coach Matt Painter took this route when addressing the media a few weeks back. Gil Freed, a professor at West Florida, has tons of years experience as he does training in crowd control. As a matter of fact, it's over 30 years. Plus, he served as a witness in some cases. From the Post, Freed said ringing the court with security personnel or putting up barricades would be counterproductive because that would jeopardize people in the stands who get caught in the crush of fans pushing forward. The best solution, he would say, would be for the schools to have a clearly stated policy that fans are not allowed on the court and that those who go onto the court could have their tickets taken away or be banned from the arena. While the scenes can be exhilarating and picturesque, the threats are real. Via Forbes in 2004, Joe Kay was a high school athlete in Tucson, Arizona, headed to Stanford on a volleyball scholarship. He also played basketball. And one night after the team won a big rivalry game, fans stormed the court. Kay was knocked to the floor. He suffered a torn artery and a stroke that left him paralyzed on his right side. If there's any story that we missed or any story that you would like to submit, get at me. I will throw up the graphic here. Get at me on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok. Send me a message. Send me a DM. And again, there are only so many hours in a day. There could be stuff that we missed or even on the local level that you want us to cover. Get at us. Submit it to us. We'll take a look. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.